Hi there everyone, we're in the Royal Society basement with a special guest, researcher named Katie Reinhardt. It's nice to have you here. Great to be here, Brady. You're going to be alright? I think so. Alright, now we have some very interesting objects that Katie's going to tell us all about shortly. Here's a little sneak preview. Pretty cool. But before we get to that, we have to tell a bit of a story. And it involves a very famous book document that we've talked about before here on Objectivity. It's this bad boy here. This is the manuscript of Isaac Newton's Principia, one of the most important, if not the most important, science document of all time. And this is like the handwritten version that went to the printers. Have you seen this before, Katie? Like I have. This is a fair copy. So this is written actually very nicely to be given to the printers to set the type for the printed version of the Principia. You can also see here through the text, there's little marks of where the figures need to go. Here we go, we see here a little mark, put figure one here. And if we go further into the book, perhaps let's find another example. Here we go. So there's all these little notes to the printers so they know where to put the figures. Now, the actual drawn figures that would have been supplied at the time are no longer with us, unfortunately. But if we go to an early version, of the actual printed final thing all the way there through. There are some figures. It's great to see how diagrams were part of the process of doing mathematics at the time. It was a very visual practice. Now the question you may have at home is how were these things printed on the page? And that's where our little friends here come in. What are these things called? These are wood blocks. A wood block is part of a printing process called relief printing where a block cutter would have the drawing of the diagram and on this piece of wood cut away everything that they did not want printed. So they cut away all of this space, leaving only the lines of the diagrams and those little lettering behind. I imagine that was quite a skill. It's like really fine detailed lines and... Absolutely, it was a very specialized skill. You'd need to be a trained block cutter to do. Do we have any clue what kind of wood this might be made from or...? We think this is pear wood. From a pear tree? Yes. Not an apple tree? I know. It, it would be lovely if it were apple, but uh... We don't think so. So basically, Isaac Newton's drawing is supplied. Someone sits there slaving away over the piece of wood to reproduce it. And then this is used to actually bang it onto the paper? Exactly. So this would have been set on the page with the text, inked over. You can still see how the raised lines are darker from the remaining ink. And then pressed on the page. So only the ink that's on the lines remains on the page. What are all these little holes on this old one here? So a worm got to this block sometime between the 17th century and now. Ah, oh, naughty worm. In case we haven't made it clear, these are wood blocks used for Principias. So we could actually go into the copy of Principia here and match up these wood blocks with the figures in the document. But we're not going to do that today. Ah, of course we're going to do that. Come on then, <laughs> let's have a look. Okay, so here we go. I'm on page 14 here of Principia and have a look. There's the wood block, there's the figure. And you can see one feature of this type of printing is that the image needs to be made in reverse. If you see these little letters, they have to be done backwards because it would be printed ah, like that. Ah, here's another one. There's the wood block and there's its matching figure. Do you see these all the time when you're in your research or is this like a rare thing? Wood blocks are quite durable. They can take many printings. So these wood blocks could have been used over and over again in the printing process. However, as you can see, the worms have gotten to this one. It's rare for them to just survive so long. So these were recently refound at the Wren Library at Trinity College and we're delighted they turned up. So at the moment you can come to the Royal Society and see these on display in a glass case, but they've been loaned from the Wren Library. Exactly. We've got another wood block here. This is not from Principia, but it is very impressive. What's this from? This is from a book by Roger Coates, who was a fellow of the Royal Society, and he was a contemporary of Newton's, also a mathematician, also at Trinity College. Mm. So he helped prepare the second edition of the Principia we were just looking at. Yeah. And then posthumously, his mathematical works were printed in the Harmonia Mensuarum in 1722. And in case you're wondering what that looks like, we've got that here as well. So this is a nice example to remember that Newton wasn't the only mathematician at the Royal Society or in Trinity. Here's a contemporary of his also using woodblocks to print diagrams. Also on this woodblock, you can see a few places have been cut out where the letters could be replaced. You can see how you could take a little wooden letter and slot it in. Now, Katie, I know you're interested in science, but you're not a science expert. What is it you do? Why are you looking through all these things? What's your interest in all this? Well, so I'm part of a project based at Cambridge called Making Visible, funded by the AHRC. And our team is interested in how the fellows of the early Royal Society made images, how they worked with artisans, block cutters to create the diagrams and the plates that go in the text that they published or the drawings they used in meetings. 
But at the same time, we're very interested in exactly how they maybe made images to market their science or how they created images themselves as fellows to discuss maybe the details of a dissection, things like that. We're also doing a lot of image level research that will become part of the Royal Society's picture library. So we have a big database that um, will enable scholars to do image research. Okay, so you really love images. Tell me one yeah. image that you've come across so far that's stuck in your memory. What's your favourite image you've found so far? Richard Waller, who was secretary of the society and briefly vice president during the 17th century, did a dissection of a parakeet where he made these lovely, very detailed, very delicate drawings of the anatomy of the parakeet. And it includes a little feather. He shows all the different colors, the striation of colors in the parakeet's feather. I think this image is both very beautiful, but also shows how the early fellows were interested in anatomy, but also he was interested in the changing of the color in a single feather. So I think it kind of is a beautiful and scientific image. Super. There we go. So Philosophia Naturalis Principia Mathematica. I mean, we're talking about things like gravity here and this is yeah. laws of motion are in here inverse square law the good stuff this is amazing and here it is written out quite neatly but we've got to remember that this is a manuscript that's going to be used by the printers so we've got things being underlined little notes here and bits of text here so you can see that Halley and Newton are going through it they're correcting they're annotating they're telling the printers where to put the figures 